Coffees, etc. are here to help. Need banners, signs, or labels? Yep, they can take care of that too. Bring your printing home and let the local printing experts at Local Coffees, etc. take care of you. Local Coffees, etc. at the corner of Broadway and Enos in Santa Maria. Or catch them on the web at localcoffees.com. Local Coffees, etc. Your local choice for quality. Quick. The most comprehensive look at the news. National, state, and local. local, local. This is Information Now with Ben Hayes on the Information Station. AM 1440 KUHL Center. Maria. Good morning, 732. Information now coming up a little bit later on. We'll check in with California News, some other news of the day. But right now, as part of our local news segment, it's time to talk food with our favorite grocery gal, Amy Goldsmith. Amy's helped to launch and grow some of the most well-known brands that many of us eat or at least see on the grocery shelves. She's a food industry insider and lives her life as a food finder. Looking for the best products and trends, you can follow Amy and direct message her any questions through Facebook and also on Instagram. Instagram at the Grocery Gal, and we also been getting some phone calls here at the radio station, so we certainly appreciate that. First of all, Amy, welcome back to the show. Good morning, Ben. So we had a listener call in asking about yogurt. There are so many different types out there, so how do you choose? Uh, what's the difference? And uh, I'd have to kind of agree with this. I'm kind of lost when it comes to yogurt. <laughs> yeah, this is a great question. There are a few aisles, you know, in the grocery store that can really feel overwhelming, and yogurt is one of them. There are so many different styles and brands and different flavors that all claim to do different things, so it is hard to pick, but let's try and narrow it down. So overall, though, yogurt is filled with protein, and it's packed with probiotics, which is really good for your gut health, and it has a lot of calcium. It's also really versatile, so... You can add some fruit nuts, and then it's a hearty meal, or just grab a spoon, and it's a convenient snack. Or you can use it instead of sour cream, sour cream on a baked potato or as a dip, or use it like instead of other condiments. So, you know, somewhat of another overwhelming area in the market, the nutrition bar aisle, which we've talked about here, I suggest determining why you are eating it and what how it fits into your diet or goals. You know, so if you want low sugar or if you want something that's non-dairy, if you want extra protein or extra probiotics, this will start to help to narrow down the option. Definitely. Well, there are so many styles out there, Amy, so I feel there was Dan and maybe Yoplait, and now there's Greek yogurt, vegan. Uh, you know, how do you tell the difference? Right. There are so many varieties. It's, it's, very, it's a very international part of the market, actually. So traditional unstrained, unstrained yogurt is cultured milk that is thickened through lactic acid producing cultures being added to the milk. This creates that familiar sour flavor of yogurt. And this kind of yogurt tends to be thinner than yogurts like Greek or Australian because it hasn't been strained and thus it has more liquid content. So an unstrained yogurt is a great option for kids because some are churned off from the thicker consistencies. So it's a perfect way to get calcium to build strong bones and help digestion. So that's your more traditional yogurt maybe like the dan and that you referred mm. to okay so greek yogurt and then there's greek yogurt which has become sort of the superstar of yogurt in the past three year, two years and it makes up about 40 percent of the total yogurt market and so compared to traditional unstrained yogurt that we just talked about greek yogurt has twice the protein less sugar and fewer carbs than regular cow's milk yogurt but it also has less calcium so if that's important to you you know i'm going to say check those labels but, you know, you want to check them anyway because there's really no FDA regulations on the ingredients or process of making Greek yogurt. So, you know, what you should look for in a yogurt has two main ingredients, milk and live and active cultures. So avoid brands that add unnecessary proteins and unnecessary thickeners like whey concentrate and modified cornstarch. And be careful, really careful of added sugar. Faye and Chobani are popular Greek brands. And also popular now is Skyr, S-K-R-Y-R. Skyr is Greek yogurt's biggest competition in the yogurt game, and Skyr is Iceland's version of culture dairy. It's made with milk also and live active cultures, and then it's strained four times. So it's the thickest in consistency, and it's also filled with more protein per serving than any other yogurt. And you've maybe seen a brand called Nusa. Nusa yogurt. That's Australian yogurt, and it isn't strained like Greek or Icelandic, so you get a similar texture to, to traditional yogurt. But because it's typically made from whole milk, it still has a thicker consistency, but it's a little bit more creamy. It's not quite as thick as Greek and not as liquidy as traditional yogurt. 
which leads to it falling, you know, basically somewhere in between. And Australian yogurt is often sweetened with honey, and let's go with the totally plain one. And it has a sweet, tangy flavor, but also has a ton of protein and also great flavor. Wow, there's a lot of yogurt out there. We have uh, grocery gal Amy Goldsmith as we're talking about yogurt here on KUHL, the time 737. So what about those who are lactose intolerant or vegan? I mean, uh, is yogurt out for them, or is there certain brands that uh, maybe they would enjoy? So there's so many options now, as, we, as you can tell. There's goat milk, which uh, a recent, recent study found that 93% of infants who are allergic to cow's milk were able to drink goat milk with no reaction. So this is a great option, but it also can turn some people away because think of like goat cheese. It kind of can have a funky taste to it. Um, there's also sheep milk yogurt, and then there's soy, almond, and coconut-based yogurt. And live and active cultures are added to it, so it is considered a yogurt. All right, there's something called uh, kefir, Amy. So what is kefir? So I call it kefir, too. Some people call it kefir. Ah. If you're fancy, take kefir, but <laughs> I call it kefir. So kefir is a fermented yogurt drink that's known to be high in protein and calcium, minerals, and vitamin D. And since kefir has a long fermentation process, that means it's filled with more probiotics, which helps to support a healthy digestive system. And kefir can be made with actually any type of milk. So it can be made with cow, goat, sheep, soy, rice, etc. And what makes it unique is the milk is blended with the kefir grains or cultures. And these grains contain a variety of bacteria and yeast, which are also good for your gut. So the taste is slightly tart, and you'll notice an effervescent kind of bubbly quality to it. Interesting. I mean, look, then over, overall with yogurt, you really, really have to read the labels. There is added sugar. There are some with high fructose corn syrup and other additives. So you think you're doing something good for your body, and it's actually not. So it's really important to read the labels, know why you're eating it, know what's in it, and how it fits into your diet. Very important. Yeah, matter of fact, I was telling you that um, I had never heard of kefir until my wife had to go to the hospital, and this was something that they gave her in the hospital. And so I actually, after she came home, I had to go shopping for it. And so, well, you know, what does it look like? You know, is it uh, near the milk? Is it near the yogurt? So um, I, this is something I was just learning about, so I'm glad that you brought that up. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's been around for a long time. And as the whole probiotic, prebiotic, you know, gut health trend has taken off in the last few years, um, kefir has become even more popular, as yogurt has as well. So that's why you're seeing so many different yogurts on the market, um, because this whole pre-probiotic um, trend is, is really significant. Yep. And you were mentioning the, the different kinds of yogurt. So I guess for people that have never tried some of these, I mean, really the key is maybe, as you mentioned, read the labels and see how that fits into your diet. But you might just have to break down and try some of these and see if, if you like them. Absolutely. I mean, really, read the label first. I think you'll be really surprised at what's in some of these. There is high fructose corn syrup in a lot of them, it, it, which is shocking. So if you can read the labels labels first and figure out what's important to you. Maybe it's low sugar. Maybe it's high protein. Maybe it's low carbs. Um, you know, then you can go from there and then pick the different flavors that maybe you like and you can try different brands too. Um, Chobani is a really great starter Greek yogurt. Faye is really good. Um, you know, recommend it. But again, read those labels. All right, there you go. The lowdown on yogurt from grocery gal Amy Goldsmith. Amy, well done. You can follow Amy and direct message her any questions through Facebook and also on Instagram at the grocery gal. And of course, uh, calling us here at KUHL is another way to uh, provide some questions and uh, future topics here for other radio programs coming up. Amy, good information today as usual. We'll talk to you again soon. Absolutely. Thanks, Ben. All right, 740. Don't forget birthdays and anniversary wishes. 928-1440 is my number. Uber is letting drivers set their own rates in some parts of California. The move is one of the company's attempts to show that drivers are independent and therefore should not be classified as employees under the state's new gig worker law. Drivers in Los Angeles, Bakersfield, San Diego, Fresno, and Sacramento can now set trip fares as a multiplier of Uber's existing time and distance rates. They can charge as little as half the standard fare or as much as five times the standard. Phoenix, Arizona Police Chief Jerry Williams is asking the FBI to review a police shooting that left a man dead in a parked car on the 4th of July. The incident has set off renewed protests in the Arizona capital with people demanding answers. Williams says she asked.